Hello everyone, Life Group Leaders. Um, welcome to our Word Focus today. Um, it's my pleasure and it's my privilege to share with you some of our takeaways from this week's message. Um, this week we had a great you know, buffet, a love buffet of, of different perspectives on talking about being loved by God. And I would like to share a few points and I hope and even before we go through that, I want to encourage you, Life Group Leaders, share this video to someone, to anyone who you might think need to hear these words. And I also encourage you, maybe listen to the message again because I'm quite sure that you would have more takeaways than I could ever share in this session today. You know, Pearl mentioned about the Father's love in that God Himself provided for the sacrifice because of His great love towards Abraham. And then Cox talked about um, God's love dwelling in us and the picture of, of, you know, God residing into us. You know, before in the Old Testament, it was talking about the temple where the Spirit of God or the presence of God resides. But now, in our, in our times, God resides in our hearts and He dwells in us. And then Katz talked about um, the amazing, extravagant, and, and, and radical demonstration of the woman who who kissed the feet of Jesus and laid, you know, and, and wiped it with her tears and poured perfume on his feet. And that's how radical she was expressing her love for God. But let me tell you, God's love is even more scandalous because he loved that woman so much. And my main takeaway from, from, from this week is that, you know, God loves us so much. And I'm reminded of the verse, Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 23. It says there that through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning and great is God's faithfulness. You know, all throughout this week, I want to encourage all of us, maybe think about the way in which you would experience and know that you are truly loved. And we have been sharing this um, new project, so to speak, with our church that the You Are Love campaign, but more than a campaign, it's about letting people know that they are loved by God. And even right now, I want to say to you that you are loved by God. It says there in the scripture in Lamentations that His steadfast love is always there with you. Even though at times you might feel like you are not experiencing His love or maybe you are going through a challenges, but His love is steadfast. And it's, it's quite interesting when I was studying um, this message the word steadfast, it means it's firm, it's resolute, it's unwavering. And that is the ultimate expression of God's love towards you and towards me. That His love is steadfast, His love is unwavering throughout any challenge, throughout any situation, throughout any sickness or any, uh, any of all of these things. God's love is steadfast. And it says there that His mercies are fresh and new every day. So maybe that's something that you can think about when you discuss it with your groups, that all throughout today and the rest of the week, think about one thing about God's love towards you and meditate on that, chew on that, and allow it to come alive in your hearts and allow His grace and His mercy to really come out of your hearts and allow it to embrace you and show you how love you are in God's eyes. God's love is so high and it's so wide and it's so deep that He gave you His very best. It says that in Romans, that He did not spare His own Son, but He freely gave Him. So how will He not freely give all things to us? That is the measure of God's love towards you and towards me. So maybe as I close this session today, I want to pray for everyone that maybe, just maybe, I do not know, but God knows, that you need to be reminded that you are loved. Maybe say it to yourself. Say, I am loved by God. I am loved by an extravagant love of God. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for everyone that is watching this video today. I thank you that every day you are reminding us, you are showing us how much you love us deeply, how much you care for us. It says there in the word that your mercies, your loving kindness are fresh and new every day of our lives. And tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. But today, 
we celebrate your love towards us. And because of that, we are able to love you and to love people around us and share your love to those that you have called us to share them with. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all.